In the realm of shadows, master thief Anthony Fate thrives. With a heist that echoes through the city, he slips away from the relentless SWAT team like a ghost. But a Taiwanese agent named Sue emerges from the darkness, driven by a thirst for justice and revenge. Their worlds collide when Fate's daughter is held captive by a vengeful rival and Sue's former partner. Now they must join forces in a race against Tan to save the innocent and confront their demons. Brace yourself for a tale of redemption and betrayal that will leave you breathless. Hello, and welcome to I Am Movies. In the heart-pounding opening of the movie, we find ourselves at a bustling train station. A mysterious figure, cloaked in shadows, anxiously awaits the arrival of his friend, who carries a secret bag. Little does anyone know, a meticulously planned heist is about to unfold. Simultaneously, the scene shifts to a high-security diamond exchange, where an armored truck pulls up. Inside its impenetrable walls, a valuable package is being transported to the impenetrable vault. Unbeknownst to the authorities, our enigmatic protagonist and his companion are already en route to intercept this precious cargo. With the operation on the brink of initiation, they make a crucial call to their insider contact who confirms the package's delivery. The stones are there. But unbeknownst to them, an observant Asian man overhears their conversation, setting the stage for an intricate web of intrigue. Meanwhile, an elegant limousine pulls up at the diamond exchange, carrying a man and a woman who exude an air of confidence and cunning. Their true intentions soon become clear. They are integral players in the impending heist. Sensing an opportunity to exploit the situation, the woman attempts to charm the guard, only to discover an unexpected twist. He is gay. Swiftly adapting, her male accomplice skillfully takes over, diverting the guard's attention away from their impending actions. Inside the labyrinthine diamond exchange, the atmosphere crackles with tension as the duo meticulously prepares their equipment to breach the impregnable vault. A faint noise echoes through the lobby as the vault gives way, but it's dismissed in the chaos. Once inside, they score the vault's contents, feverishly searching for the coveted package. Unbeknownst to them, time is running out. As they close in on their prize, a phone call shatters their focus. It's the Asian man, alerting the authorities of the ongoing heist. I want to report a robbery in progress. Panic sets in as they realize the police and SWAT teams are en route. Their escape plan becomes a desperate race against time. In a thrilling chase through the winding train tracks, they split up, attempting to elude capture. But their efforts are not without consequences. In a sudden ambush, the Asian man strikes, snatching a bag from one of the thieves, believing it to contain the precious stones. To his dismay, he discovers only ordinary white diamonds, a frustrating setback in his quest for vengeance. In a subsequent scene, an enigmatic Asian man disembarks from a private jet. Greeted by a woman who delivers the grim news, the stones have been stolen. The exchange was just robbed. His expression hardens, setting the stage for a collision course with those responsible. Meanwhile, the first Asian man arrives at the crime scene, effortlessly blending in among the investigating cops. His presence foreshadows a cat-and-mouse game about to unfold, heightening the stakes for our daring thieves. Amidst all the chaos, a tender moment interrupts the relentless action. A young girl engrossed in video games is joined by her father, the mastermind behind the audacious heist. He tucks her into bed, gifting her a sparkling diamond necklace, a token of his love, and a reminder of their dangerous double lives. They share a poignant prayer before he slips away into the night. Reunited, the gang grapples with the loss of the stolen diamonds as their wounded comrade delivers the disheartening news. He snagged the loot. But the boss, unfazed by adversity, unveils a new plan. One that promises to tip the scales in their favor and out with their relentless pursuers. In the next dripping scene, we witness a man trapped in a torturous nightmare, desperately clinging to his secrets. Meanwhile, the notorious gang leader pays a visit to his influential associate who proudly boasts about an impregnable armored vehicle he arrived in. In a clandestine exchange, the boss hands over precious stones and entrusts his friend with the task of discovering their true worth. The tension mounts as the boss enters a dimly lit room, only to discover a lifeless body sprawled on the floor. To his astonishment, he locks eyes with Sue, the enigmatic Asian man who had previously assaulted his comrade at the train tracks. Fueled by vengeance, they engage in a fierce altercation. Amidst the chaos, a ringing phone pierces the air, heralding a message from the caller, known as Ling, who addresses the boss as Mr. Fate. Mr. Fate, I know you're there. Attempting negotiation, 
Mr. Fate finds himself entangled in a web of frustration as his pleas fall on deaf ears. Emerging from the ominous building, Mr. Fate soon realizes he is being relentlessly pursued by a shadowy vehicle. Determined to shake off his pursuers, he employs evasive maneuvers, but his efforts prove futile. An intense confrontation ensues between Mr. Fate, Sue, and the relentless pursuers. Just as hope seems lost, Sue steps up to lend a hand. Together, they manage to overcome the assailants, inadvertently releasing a pair of ferocious guard dogs from their captivity. With quick thinking and resourcefulness, they successfully trap the snarling canines in the backseat of a nearby car. A crucial call arrives from Mr. Fate's trusted friend, Archie, who was entrusted with the precious stones. To Mr. Fate's dismay, Archie admits to losing the valuable gems while attempting to uncover their worth. A revelation strikes Mr. Fate, an insidious character known as John Chambers, Chambers. Oh. possessing an encyclopedic knowledge of the city's underbelly, might be responsible for the theft. Unbeknownst to them, Sue harbors a hidden identity as a Taiwanese intelligence agent. The tension rises further when Ling, the kidnapper of Mr. Fate's daughter, contacts them, demanding the stones in exchange for her safe return. Seizing the opportunity to sow confusion and buy themselves time, Sue takes the phone and skillfully deceives Ling, asserting that they possess the stones but refuse to trade them for Mr. Fate's daughter. With urgency in their hearts, they embark on a perilous journey to meet Chambers. In a different setting, Ling arrives at a desolate hangar, commanding his assistant to gather vital information while he orders the confinement of Mr. Fate's daughter, the spirited Vanessa. She stays alive. Their hopes dashed after an unsuccessful encounter with Chambers, Mr. Fate's mind races, eventually landing on a revelation. The precious stones must be hidden within a bustling club. Meanwhile, confined to the desolate hangar, Vanessa resolves to escape her captivity. Determined, she cunningly pilfers the keys to the van that serves as her prison, desperately attempting to secure her freedom. However, her valiant efforts are met with failure, leading to her eventual bondage. As the gang devises a daring plan to pilfer the stones from the heavily guarded club, Daria, a formidable female member of the group, assumes the crucial role of distracting the club's formidable boss. Simultaneously, Sue and Archie embark on a treacherous quest to identify the culprits responsible for the stone theft. Entered by their inability to recall faces, they fixate on a distinctive ring worn by one of the thieves, initiating their search in the underground depths of a clandestine fight club. Resorting to audacious measures, they infiltrate the club, with Sue assuming the guise of a fighter. He's not a guest, he's a fighter. He's Is every move fraught with danger? Meanwhile, within the pulsating confines of the electrifying nightclub, a daring plan unfolds. Daria, a seductive and audacious force, lures the club's boss into his private office. With calculated precision, she tantalizes him with a provocative striptease, captivating his attention while the rest of the team springs into action. Craftily disguised as pest control, one of their members infiltrates the targeted room. Armed with deception, they unleash a mist of gas, creating an illusion of vacancy. Seizing the opportunity, the remaining accomplices breach the room's defenses, their target locked in a fortified safe. Yet their every move triggers a cascade of alarms, alerting both the building's occupants and law enforcement. Undeterred, the quick-thinking mastermind evades the tightening grip of the authorities, steering a nimble ATV through a dizzying car chase that engulfs the sprawling city. Cunningly outmaneuvering the relentless pursuit, he defies capture, leaving the cops trailing in his wake. Meanwhile, at the gritty fight club, tensions rise as Sue and Archie struggle to locate the enigmatic figure holding the key to their ambitions. With each passing moment, the stakes intensify, their very presence jeopardized. Finally, Sue's turn arrives, a pivotal moment where he must step into the ring to fight or face expulsion. Embracing his fate, he enters the unforgiving arena, his resolve stealing against the mounting pressure. Unexpectedly, the elusive ring bearer emerges from the shadows, transforming the match into an all-out street brawl. With unwavering determination, Sue unleashes a torrent of power, vanquishing each adversary in his path to claim victory. In a chilling twist, Ling, a dangerous antagonist, pays a visit to Chambers, seeking to negotiate for the coveted stones. How much money do you want for the stones? However, negotiations swiftly give way to treachery, as Ling remorselessly silences Chambers and one of his loyal associates. Extracting valuable information from the captive ring bearer, the intrepid crew unearths a lead, pointing them toward the very club they had long suspected. Yet their arrival reveals a grim tableau, a scene of violence and death, 
leaving only one stone in their possession. Unfazed, Su's instincts kick in, a lingering intuition that Ling possesses the remaining stones. Meanwhile, amidst the chaos, Vanessa, resourceful and resilient, finds herself bound by ropes. With steely determination, she frees herself, even as Ling and his henchmen manipulate the stolen stones, enhancing their power with a mysterious device. It's called a Die Master Oscillator. Faced with uncertainty and a desperate need for a plan, the gang receives an unexpected call, one that carries the voice of Vanessa, revealing fragments of her harrowing captivity. United in their resolve, they pool their collective ingenuity, meticulously strategizing their next move. It becomes clear that the grand structure Vanessa alluded to must be an aircraft hangar, prompting them to unearth vital flight plans that pinpoint the exact location of the impending exchange. The fateful exchange commences, with Ling, captivating the audience, unveiling the awe-inspiring capabilities of the stones, a demonstration that ranges from annihilating tanks to possessing destructive power, rivaling the magnitude of Hiroshima. As the tension escalates, fate uncovers a startling revelation. The stones were the product of the Taiwanese government, and Ling, once part of their elite team, had betrayed his comrades, leaving them dead in his wake. Amidst the high-stakes bidding, the intrepid gang stealthily infiltrates the secure compound, Resolute in their mission to seize the stones and rescue, Vanessa. Arching into action, Tommy and Archie storm the fortress, armed with an impenetrable vehicle. In a stunning twist, Vanessa escapes from her captors, divert, in their attention. With precious seconds ticking away, Ling seizes the opportunity to flee with his assistant, but Sue confronts them head-on, engaging in a fierce altercation while Derry intervenes, diverting the assistant's attention. Relentless gunfire erupts, but the fortified vehicle shields the gang, obliterating one of the assailants. Simultaneously, Vanessa finds herself ensnared in a relentless pursuit, narrowly evading danger at every turn. However, her valiant father intervenes, thwarting the final assailant and ensuring her safety. Daria, caught in a life-or-death struggle, ultimately eliminates the assistant. Sue, driven by an unyielding determination, confronts Ling, culminating in a fierce clash. Meanwhile, Fate subdues his adversary, rendering him unconscious. In a climactic moment, Fate embraces his daughter, the reunion marking the end of a relentless odyssey. Never gonna let you go. With the dust settling and the arrival of law enforcement, Archie contemplates a future where their camaraderie and skills could forge an extraordinary team. Yet they collectively decide that it's time to turn the page on their tumultuous lives, to pursue a path that veers away from the shadows of crime. The final scene paints a portrait of redemption and resolution, with Fate reclaiming his daughter and Sue restoring the diamonds to their rightful place. And that's the end of this recap. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more. Thanks for watching and see you at the next one.